Think you know Japan? Think again. Today we're uncovering the top 10 must-visit islands of Japan that you've probably never heard of. Sure, you're familiar with the neon lights of Tokyo and the ancient temples of Kyoto, but Japan's beauty extends far beyond its mainland. Picture this. An archipelago of over 6,000 islands, each with its own unique personality. Some are tropical paradises, adorned with turquoise waters and coral reefs. Others are rugged and wild, their landscapes carved out by the forces of nature. And then there are those steeped in history and culture, where time seems to stand still. Intrigued, you should be. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, or should we say the peak of the volcano. So fasten your seatbelts, or better yet, hoist your sails. Ready to set sail? Let's dive into the heart of Japan's subtropical paradise. Okinawa and the Southwest Islands. First stop on our island hopping adventure, Okinawa and the Southwest Islands. These gems are not your typical Japanese landscapes. Picture this, subtropical paradise, crystal clear waters, and an abundance of coral reefs. You can almost feel the sun on your skin, can't you? But it's not just about the stunning natural beauty. These islands are a treasure trove of rich Ryukyuan culture. A culture distinct from mainland Japan with its own language, music, and dance. And let's not forget the food, a fusion of traditional Japanese ingredients with a tropical twist. You haven't truly tasted Japan until you've tried Okinawan cuisine. And the people, warm, welcoming, with a spirit as vibrant as the islands themselves. It's no wonder Okinawa is known as the land of the immortals. But you don't have to take my word for it. Come see for yourself. From the subtropical paradise, we're heading to the wild, natural beauty of Japan's northern frontier, Hokkaido. Welcome to Hokkaido, Japan's northern treasure. This island is a place where nature truly outdoes itself with landscapes that leave you breathless. Picture wide open spaces, magnificent mountains, and tranquil lakes, all under a sky so blue, it seems surreal. Now imagine these landscapes blanketed in snow, and you've got the perfect setting for some of the world's finest ski resorts. Whether you're a seasoned skier or a beginner, you'll find slopes here that cater to your skill level. But Hokkaido isn't just about serene landscapes and thrilling ski slopes. It's also the home of the vibrant Sapporo Snow Festival. Every winter, the city of Sapporo transforms into a wonderland of snow and ice. Marvel at the massive, intricately carved sculptures that line the streets and parks, illuminating the city with their ethereal glow. From the snowy landscapes of Hokkaido, we're off to the island of Tsushima. Next stop, the cultural melting pot of Tsushima. Nestled between Japan and Korea, Tsushima serves as a fascinating crossroads of cultures, alive with a rich tapestry of history and natural beauty. This island is a treasure trove of serene landscapes, marked by rolling hills, lush forests, and picturesque coastlines that stretch as far as the eye can see. It's not just the scenery that will capture your heart. Tsushima's history is equally captivating. Once a strategic point of contact during the feudal era, it's a place where ancient tales and modern narratives intertwine, creating a blend of cultures that's uniquely its own. From the grandeur of the Tsushima Jinja Shrine to the solemn beauty of the Hitakatsu area, the island is a testament to the resilience and beauty of Japan's cultural heritage. From the tranquil beauty of Tsushima, we're journeying to the ancient forests of Yakushima. Welcome to Yakushima, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This place is like a time capsule, home to ancient cedar trees that have stood tall for thousands of years. They are the silent witnesses of this island's rich history. Yakushima's forests are mystical, almost otherworldly, with a dense canopy 
that filters sunlight into a soft, ethereal glow. These forests are not just known for their ancient cedars, but also for their role as the muse behind the acclaimed animated film, Princess Mononoke. The film's lush enchanted forests were directly inspired by Yakushima's magical landscapes. Walking among these ancient trees, it's not hard to imagine the forest spirits from the film coming to life around you. Yakushima is truly a place where nature's ancient past and creative inspiration intertwine. But don't get too lost in the mystique, because we're about to set sail again. Leaving the ancient forest behind, we're off to discover the cultural treasure trove of Sado Island. Welcome to Sado Island, a place where tradition meets innovation. Sado Island's rich history is etched in its landscape, with remnants of its past gold mining glory. The island was once the largest gold mine in Japan. And today, you can tour the winding tunnels and learn about the island's golden era. But Sado is not just about gold. It's also a hub of cultural activity, where traditional and modern performing arts thrive. The island is renowned for its taiko drumming, and you might even get a chance to see a live performance by the world-famous Kodo drummers. The annual Earth Celebration Festival is a highlight, bringing artists and spectators from around the globe to this small island. But Sado isn't stuck in the past. The island is committed to sustainable tourism, preserving its natural beauty while welcoming visitors. You can explore the island's diverse landscapes, from rugged cliffs to serene rice fields, on eco-friendly electric bikes. From the cultural treasure trove of Sado Island, we're speeding through the final five islands on our list. Fasten your seat belts as we speed through the final five islands on our list. First up, the Ogasawara Islands, often dubbed as the Galapagos of the East. These remote islands are a haven for unique wildlife, and their unspoiled natural beauty is truly a sight to behold. In the heart of the Pacific Ocean, it's a paradise that's worth the 24-hour ferry ride from Tokyo. Next, we have Naoshima, where contemporary art and architecture seamlessly blend with nature. This little island is transformed into a living museum, featuring remarkable works from renowned artists worldwide. From colorful pumpkin sculptures to the architectural marvel that is the Chichu Art Museum, Naoshima is a feast for the senses. Moving on, let's dive into the tranquil beauty of the Miyako Islands. These islands are celebrated for their spectacular beaches and crystal clear waters teeming with vibrant coral reefs. It's an underwater wonderland that's sure to leave you spellbound. Our next stop is Shikoku, Japan's fourth largest island. It's a place where spirituality, tradition, and nature intersect. Embark on a journey of self-discovery along the 88 Temple Pilgrimage, or relish in the island's natural wonders and traditional crafts. From the whirlpools of Naruto to the art of indigo dyeing, Shikoku is an island of endless discoveries. Last but certainly not least, we have Tashima, an island that marries art, nature, and architecture in the most harmonious and innovative ways. Visit the Tashima Art Museum, where a single raindrop dances across a concrete floor. Or take a leisurely bike ride through the island's picturesque landscapes. Teshima is a quiet retreat that will leave you refreshed and inspired. And that's a wrap on our island hopping adventure. Get ready to pack your bags and embark on a journey to these hidden gems. Each island, with its unique charm, offers an unforgettable journey into the heart of Japan. So what are you waiting for? The islands are calling.